This is about solving trigonometric identities. You are asked to find all solutions of the following equation in the interval 0 to 360, so in degrees. Now, first things first, we have the cos of 2 theta. And here we've got sine of single theta. So we need to convert the equation into an equation of single thetas to be able to do this. Now, because we have a sine theta here, we're going to convert cos 2 theta into single thetas. And what identity are we going to use? Well, we should know three identities for cos 2 theta. But the one of most use in this case, cos 2 theta, would be 1 subtract 2 sine squared theta. Why is that the most useful one? Because then everything in the equation would have signs in it or numbers and effectively it would be a quadratic in terms of sine theta. So let's do that substitution. 2. 1 subtract 2 sine squared of theta. Single theta now. Must therefore be equal to 1 subtract 2 sine of theta. Let's expand this out. 2 subtract 4 sine squared of theta must be equal to 1 subtract 2 sine theta. Let's add 4 sine squared theta onto both sides and subtract 2. So 0 would be equal to 4 sine squared theta. Subtract 2 sine theta and we'd have 1 subtract 2 which would be negative 1. Okay, now let's try, uh, could we factorise this? Well, to me, it's not obvious that this can be factorised. Um, you could try for a little bit, but you'll find you get nowhere. So if you're in that situation, let's use the quadratic formula. Okay, so sine theta must be equal to negative b. Remember the quadratic formula, it says x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared subtract 4ac, all divided by 2a. Here to the quadratic formula, you get sine theta is 2 plus or minus um, the square root of 4 uh, plus 16, which is 20, all over 8. Okay, so you would get that as your uh, possible solutions for sine theta. There's another one. So, so on the one hand, theta would be the inverse sine of 2 plus the square root of 20 over 8 and on the other hand theta would be equal to the inverse sine of 2 subtract the square root of 20 over 8 now making sure your calculator is in fact in degrees mode here so the inverse sine of 2 plus square root of 20 over 8 work that out and you get yourself 54 degrees so theta is 54 degrees the principal value and here theta would actually be equal to theta would be equal to negative 18 degrees. Now we've just got to think, have we got all solutions? So let's draw our graph out. We're going between 0 and 360. So let's just draw it a little bit. 0 and 360 looks something like this. One of our solutions is negative 18. So we'll have another one here and another one here. And one of our solutions was 54. So we'll clearly have another one here. Okay, so 54, another solution from 54 is 180 subtract 54, which will clearly be 126 degrees. And the other solutions from negative 18, well, it'll be 180 plus 18 and 360 subtract 18. So 180 plus 18 would be 198, and 360 subtract 18 would be 342. Now, it's important you actually label your answers at the end. So theta, therefore, is equal to 54 degrees on the one hand, 126 degrees on the other hand, 198 degrees on the other hand, and 342 degrees on the other hand. You're going to ignore that solution there, and you're done.